they, they will sacrifice everything on the planet just because they can't take it with them, but they'll sacrifice everything on the planet to go to another planet and do the same thing. To turn into the monsters you see in the alien movies. That's what they want to do with all these isotopes. That's what is about directed energy weapons. Um, and if you don't understand it, I mean, look up, um, look up directed energy weapons. It's in every kind of uh, use right now. It's been around for 50 years anyway, a laser. But it's just the different modifications of the lasers with different types of isotopes. Because all the big lasers now, the military industrial lasers, are full of all of these exotic isotopes. And so they need these really exotic isotopes to make these really scary, monstrous weapons that they won't tell you about, that they'll never declassify, and that they say it's for the aliens or for the asteroids eventually when they finally get exposed. But it's just monsters in charge that are just will destroy this entire planet to get their own way. So the attacks well we need a we need a planet revolt. They they're gone. All governments are now finished. That's the reality of it. As this comes out, all government is finished because they're and they know it because they're they're looting the system right now. They don't have in, any intentions of trying to maintain or store things for the population. They don't care about the population. No government out there cares about the population, period. Not one of them. Every one of the employees are lazy fucking people, are scum, are the scum of the communities, and they're stealing and molesting your loved ones. Stealing from them and molesting them at every chance they get. And we can use the reality of what they're doing to force uh, this out there and to change society for the better to get 4200 peer review academic journals flipped over a short while to start working on solutions and dealing with it because if you think of it as a meteorite coming at you you know who they all be rushing up to the mic say folks there's a meteorite coming that's going to take out the planet right but because it's radiation everybody's sitting there with their thumb up their ass and one in their mouth saying wish somebody else would come out and say it first so I can come out and say it behind them and not lose my job but if it was a meteorite in the sky they wouldn't have to worry about losing their job because everybody would say well he was right see so we need to make sure that the people that are speaking out get the support we can't let them destroy the planet we can't let them destroy every life on this planet we can't let them take the humanity from this planet and it's all going to come back to roost anyway and do we have a choice? No, we don't. Do we have a right? Yes, we do. Do we have the ability? Most likely. There's 4,200 peer review academic studies that are locked away every single day. And so when you say, not you, but when someone says to you, uh, well, you know, you got to show me a peer review study, you say, well, there's 4,200 locked away every day that you paid for, that your tax money paid for, that your children's produce, and that a handful of corporations get the copyright to. And that's the information that could uh, liberate us, could free us. Or at least give us the opportunity, at least give us the ability, and most importantly, give us hope. Most importantly. The most important thing that we need now is hope. And because people, uh, understandably so now, are feeling uh, hopeless and helpless, and that's not acceptable, ever. And that, that is something that um, drives me every day to learn more, to be more forthcoming, to be more knowledgeable, and to not let the anger take over as much, even though it's necessary and it's unavoidable sometimes, because uh, emotions are emotions and you shouldn't avoid your emotions sometimes, especially when you realize that is a missing link out here, is the emotions. Media is a drone, and we need hope. And I think hope is right here waiting for us, 4,200 peer review studies, and just imagine one day worth of peer review academic studies, there's three a minute, thousand page studies, pr published, not, not talking about the ones that are not published, it's probably twice as many, three times as many. So if we took those resources, a little bit of those resources, one third of those resources, one tenth of those resources, and put them to work on solving the nuclear waste, the nuclear contaminants, nuclear robots, nuclear health, nuclear mitigations, nuclear 
considerations, we would have hope. But with all the lies, the constant, constant, absolutely criminal lies that the gatekeepers are telling, right, that's criminal. And at some point, you know, critical mass is going to be reached. And people are waking up. People are understanding it. 